Hey, this is not the time to be live reacting because oh, my mouth is sore. I have watched this video like once and I want to just go over every bit of detail that I want to go to. First of all, Senora. <laughs> She's gonna either be alive or not. I want to go back to, to this um, one shot where Senora fell or died. Is Senora gonna turn into... A butterfly. No butterfly, sadly. That's the only way we can explain this butterfly. So, when Signora died, I guess this is her essence or something. And like, left and ran away all the way to Sneznaya. Okay, next are these two chess pieces. These two chess pieces, I think, were either just pawns of the Fatui, but not Harbingers. I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I can't, ugh, I'm not good with Harbingers, but I'll try, I'll try my best. The sages think themselves to be all-knowing. Okay. We alone are wise to the virtue in those acts of folly. Okay, that sentence right there, before we talk about these visuals, I think that the sages that, I think that was Piero, I think that the sages are the scholars from Sumeru, so I'm thinking that there's probably gonna be like a higher class of groups. Like I theorized back then in my Sumeru video where there is gonna be a council or something, a high table. And those sages, I think, are the ones from Sumeru. Why do I think that? Because Piero is very focused on the acts of folly and he is making it apparent that Sneznaya and the Fatui, or the Fatui specifically, are very wise to the virtue of those acts of folly. That's what I think. So I think that there is a some sort of high council, high table in Sumeru, like I said before in my videos. But yeah, the next is these chess pieces for some reason are here. That's because uh, they already have Zhongli's piece, which um, they got from Child, and Venti, which they got from Senora, and sadly Senora is gone. A horse taking down a pawn. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Anybody good at chess, please? And is good with um, Harbinger lore? Someone tell me what this horse means. I have no idea what that means. But yeah, this white piece, I'm pretty sure they're talking about Celestia and not anyone else. Because everything that's moving right now, I think, is something that Celestia is planning for from behind the scenes. That's why it's a representation of uh, white. That's what I think. So Celestia has been moving a lot. These pawns over here at the back, I'm pretty sure two bishops are right in there in the base. Okay. They're all pushing at each other. That is crazy. Okay. But I find it weird that... These pieces here, the gnosis, the gnosi, no, <laughs> like right here. Maybe they're just using it, but everything's moving in some weird fashion, like magic. It's like whenever Cel Celestia or the other group or Fatui's enemies making a move, these things move in some fashion. And for some reason, this, uh, this chest. Senora's butterfly is here. Checkmate is not where the game ends. Okay, checkmate is not where the game ends. I think that Senora is gonna be alive in some way. <laughs> That's what I think. I want Senora to be alive and like come back and I don't know, die properly, I guess. Cause, cause to me, right? A character doesn't die till they're actually like, like there's actually a scene that they die. That one that we got is teaser for, <laughs> for something happening. Because if you've watched enough anime, <laughs> You're sure to know that when someone dies, they don't die like that. Oh, look at these these freezing things. I'm pretty sure that's like the Saritza reacting to everything that's happening right now. I don't know. Saritza is freezing everything. This lady child human here, she is wearing that butterfly thing. So I'm thinking that she's Senora's sibling, and she's also wearing probably Senora's coat. I'm not sure. She's looking behind. Here we go. Uh, okay, that is not Senora's jacket, but it but it was red. So I don't know. Maybe it's her sibling. And the fact that there's a butterfly there, and the contrast of white and black as well as red, makes me think that she's a sibling. It looks like, oh my gosh, 
I the only one who thinks that this looks like Sele? Like, to me, right? <laughs> I'm thinking of Sele right here. You guys know who Sele is? Oh my gosh, this is Sele right here. It's like two halves of Sele. That's what I think. I just want Honkai characters to be in the game. Like, So I think that this lady has some bit of relation. I don't know, just visuals. Just based on visuals, I think it looks like Sele. We are gathered here today to remember our dear comrade. Um, oh my gosh, who are these people? Marionette? This lady, it, she looks like Vil5, Vil V from Honkai 2. Okay, so this is Pulcinella. Marionette, I'm just thinking Marionette whenever I look at this lady. I swear, Lady, Lady Marionette, I'm just gonna call her that. In honor of her sacrifice, all work should halt for half a day as the nation mourns her passing. The fact that Pulcinella's eyes are gold, I don't know. Does anybody else in Genshin have golden eyes? I just know that they're awesome and I love Snaznaya. I just don't talk about them because we know very little. Yeah, little is known about Pulcinella. Like, we have no idea who Pulcinella is. Okay, let's go back. Work should halt for half a day as the nation mourns her passing. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of rings. Oh boy, we're gonna have to like check every person in the game for rings now. Um, Regrater is the guy who's going to be in Leeway right now. Merely half a day. People say that. Give me a sec. There we go. Regrater. So this guy, this guy Regrater, he's gonna be in Leeway at some point because of what happened in the chasm with Yelan's story quest. And from what we know, Bang's true currencies are blood and tears. What vision does he have? Is that Hydro? I hope that's Hydro. But Mayor, even speaking as a banker, that sounds a little unconscionable. They, they're, they're calling Pulcinella the mayor. Rosaline died in a foreign land. This is apparently Arlich. Oh my gosh, she's so hot! I <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, Arlecchino is way too hot. And she looks like a raven. That's the first thing I thought about. <laughs> like, look at that. Look. <laughs> I'm coping, obviously, but, um, come on. Look at it. <laughs> I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of characters in Honkai that, like, have similarities, obviously. Pulcinella, I, I mean, uh, uh, Arlecchino. Now that I think about it, I think that Arlecchino looks more like Alviter, but it's kind of a mix of Alviter and Raven. So, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, we don't know. Raven's got the better personality that fits with Arlecchino, but the visuals and the way that Alviter looks is more Arlecchino. Maybe Hoyoverse is gonna mix them up a bit. If you didn't know, um, Alviter is basically a side character from Honkai. She's a one of the Immortal Blades in like chapter... 18 i believe and uh she was with um Durandal and rita and everything and she was saved by kiana there we go ah, i want to get arlecchino now holy crap Heartless businessmen and dignitaries always with a convenient excuse to remain in the comfort of your homeland oh also by the way arlecchino is gonna be in inazuma at some point in the game so expect arlecchino you couldn't hope to understand so why don't you keep your mouths shut we don't want to make the children cry the children cried so this is the part where arlecchino is talking about i don't know the orphans that <laughs> that she's been um re recruiting quote unquote hey come on now and here we have the child who just went back to snaznaya and he looks freaking awesome Holy crap he looks freaking awesome oh my gosh i want this skin please he's wearing his jacket his um harbinger jacket even i don't think this is the right time or place for a fight i swear dude child's eyes are just so dead i love it <laughs> here we go now this um marionette i'm calling her marionette oh he says so the puppet okay i call her marionette for no reason okay never mind okay sandrone looks like vil v honkai there we go it looks like her but uh not really it's taking, I don't know, they're, they're taking very um, discreet design cues from Vil, from um, Honkai here, which annoys me the heck out. 
Because Will V is, if I can remember, a fire moth. He's one of the 13 fire moths when who were part of moth. It's such a pain in the head. Oh my gosh. This puppet looks freaking awesome though. Look at this guy. He's got that like the, the big daddy looking thing. These guys. Like, look at these guys. Like I want to fight. Like I want her to be a character just because she she could be these two at the same time. That's a really cool mechanic that I want to see. What are these symbols? Are these um just random symbols? Or are they like Kanria writing? Nope, they're not Kanria writing. Maybe they're like Sneznaya symbols or glyphs. Though her then... methods tarnished her honor, Loafalta's sacrifice is a great pity. So this is Capitano. I do not know who that guy is, but uh, okay, let's go. Her loss shall not hinder our progress. But Dottore, what of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? Scaramouche. Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. <laughs> Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. <laughs> that means that anything divine, you cannot use science to define it. Dottore is looking hot. Holy crap, what happened, Dottore? Yenshin Manga was like, what happened to Dottore? Hello? H hello? Look at... Uh -huh. Hello? Dottore? <laughs> hello? <laughs> uh, whatever. After conquering the Divine Gaze, he will make his next move. Divine Gaze... What is he talking about? What is the divine gaze? So apparently they know about something that Scaramouche did. If the divine gaze is the gnosis, nah. it's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics. Right now, you Piero. have a captive audience. Piero is from Conria. <laughs> those freaking eyes he's from conria uh i don't have anything else to say about piero but his his right side i want to know what that right side is that's crazy let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice with this nation endure for all time oh dude everybody's bowing oh my gosh look at that this lady here Probably is the replacement for Signora. Like right away, she's the one who replaced Signora. I find it odd though that she has a butterfly on her head and that she looks like Sele. Because if she looks like Sele and Hoyo decides to make her act like Sele, then that's gonna be one hell of a character. Like uh, you guys, I'm sh I'm betting on that. Sarcasm Nix is a hella meta character. Sarcasm Nix. There we go. This is solely based on the red character, which is Veliona. If she goes into Honkai with like freaking punching, using a catalyst or something, and she's got a bit of a crazy, if you know what I mean. The, all these characters I'm talking about that are from Honkai are just based off visuals. Um, I don't think they're gonna be here. I don't think they're gonna be like the way they did uh, Mei and Venti. It's all gonna be visual. I like how everybody though has a specific type of um, thing here, like a badge um, authority. Because Totori has this thing, a light blue which matches his hair. Forgot Regrater has this thing, very purpley dark one. Arlecchino and the child with the red. She has white for some reason. She isn't showing her thing. It doesn't have, it, it's not here. It's probably on her jacket somewhere, but I don't think it's white. Maybe it's white, I don't know. She's not wearing a badge of honor or something, a badge of authority, like these guys are. This guy I can't see. This lady that one I think Capitano, okay. Who else? In the name of her majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from the gods. <laughs> the real sky. Is that the real sky? 
Are they like right next to the abyss? Are you telling me that they're right next to the abyss? Is that why it's so cold in Snaznaya? Snaznaya knows about Karnia. To me, that looks like the real sky. But there are no constellations, sadly. But the stars are way too prominent compared to the normal sky that we have. Like, look at this. Peace. Ooh. This looks like, oh my gosh, a church somewhere in Rome. That looks like the Vatican. There it is, right there. Because <laughs> Russia's architecture, or what they're known for, are these things. The swirling... Yeah, see, Russian architecture is more focused on the domes. But they do have this cross thing, which is very prominent here. Instead of crosses, they replaced it with um, the harbinger thing, the patui. And um, you have your arches. Yeah, they have that. The columns, the colonnades. Yeah, you have that. The domes. Their domes, um, maybe it's just that they don't want it to look too Russian. They decided that it should be like this. Oh, but it's not gold, though. It's not a gold dome. Yeah, But it has gold thingies on it. But it's as close as it can get to Russian architecture. As far as I know, someone correct me in the comments. <laughs> That's all I know. Because I have not gone through Russian architecture just yet. The gift from the Tsaritsa, such as Her Majesty's benevolence. Now you rest in this coffin and everyone I don't know, maybe maybe <clears throat> maybe everyone who dies in the game gets this ice thing because for the Saritsa like there's something wrong and they don't want them to die in the current era or current time so she's encasing them in ice in layer upon layer of ice yeah, but Rosaline I promise you your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world the entirety of the old world so what is happening now if we're talking about the old civilization like um Enconomia and the chasm then that means that piero is either one of the people of the old world or he's part of conria which is also part of the old world quote unquote like very very old world like even before be even before conria i must say you're looking very young today doctor the doctor i think that um the the girl speaking is this kid there we go i think that's her it fits her yeah it fits her voice very well you're looking very young today doctor there you go i, I think that's her it, her voice fits well the question mark the the replacement of saritza i mean <laughs> of senora you know very well that i do not take that as a compliment looking very young so does that mean he's immortal Where's the segment in the prime of his life, then? <laughs> He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. Wait, so Dotori burns a tree? What the heck is he burning, then? He's burning something. There's two Dotoris? Wait a minute. <laughs> He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. Ooh. <laughs> Why is oh my gosh, is that at the tree in Sumeru? Colin, time to head out on patrol. Uh, okay, Master Tainari. There you go, you have Kali. Oh my gosh, finally, Kali is here! And she has, okay, and she has a dendro, okay, and she has dendro. That's good, that's good. I love this. Kali's back! I wanted her to have pyro though. Was that me? I'm the only was am I the only one who wants her to have pyro? What was that? Oh she was dreaming? Wait a minute. Yeah, she was dreaming about Dotori burning a tree in Sumeru. Okay. So Kali having visions of Dotori burning a tree. Maybe in Sumeru. Maybe he has she has a bigger relation to Dotori than we thought. I only know that Barnabas was doing experiments on uh Kali, but not Dotori. I don't know if Dotori himself had any interactions with Kali. But the fact that Dotori is wearing a mask and Kali doesn't know what happened begs the question that she doesn't know who Dotori is. 
Ah, uh, this tree looks like a friggin' world tree. Man, okay, that's all I can say. That's all I got. That's all I have for you guys. Um, this is my live reaction and live analysis, I guess, on everything that I could think of in regards to the latest interlude teaser, A Winter Night's Lazo. Wow, Lazo. That is so cool. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. So wait for that, yeah? Bye!